hi guys welcome to this video in this video we are going to learn about the blackboard system architecture it is a topic related with uh, artificial intelligence uh, let's move on to the uh, video uh, before uh, learning a blackboard architecture uh, we need to know about the expert systems an expert system is a computer system that emulates or acts in all respects with the decision making capabilities of a human expert. Attempt to model expert decision making in a limited domain. Uh, examples of expert system are medical diagnosis, computer configuration, machine fault diagnosis, etc. It uh, requires a willing expert, requires a knowledge representable as a rules. Uh, but the system is doesn't work for uh, chess. Uh, the advantages of expert system are it improves the decision quality, cut the expense of consulting expert for problem solving. It provides fast and efficient solution to problem in a narrow area of specialization. It provides fast and efficient solutions to problem in a narrow area of specialization. Offers consistent answers for the repetitive problem, etc. Uh, the expert system is a is like a human expert, uh, like a doctor. Uh, it can identify the uh, disease uh, with that symptoms and it's more accurate and less expensive. The expert system are mainly used for uh, uh, two types of things, uh, that is forward chaining and backward chaining. The forward chaining are used for reasoning from facts to the conclusion resulting from those facts. Uh, that means uh, based on uh, some uh, conditions or uh, features, uh, we assume or predict uh, something for future. Uh, the medical diagnosis is, is an example of forward chaining. The next one is backward chaining. Uh, it used to for uh, find out uh, why this happened here. In expert system, there are two types of expert systems. Uh, one is the production system and the non-production system. Production system is the most common form of architecture used in expert and other type of normal based system is the production system. It is also called a rule based system. This type of system uses knowledge encoded in the form of production rules that is uh, if then rules the rules has a conditional part on the left hand side and a conclusion or action part on the right hand side each rule represents a small chunk of knowledge to the given domain of expertise non-production system instead of rules these system employ more structured representation schemes like uh, semantic or associated network frames, tree structures, or even neural networks. Some of the non-production system architecture are associative or semantic architecture, frame and rule structure, decision network, blackboard system architecture, neural network, and logical reasoning, etc. Uh, now we are going to learn about the blackboard architecture. It's a non-production system. The blackboard system architecture is a special type of knowledge based system. Blackboard architecture refers to a special type of knowledge based system which uses a form of opportunistic reasoning. It uses both forward and backward chaining and chooses them dynamically at each stage in the problem solution process. One of the first applications was a speech understanding system. The Blackboard methodology is a complicated system task solving strategy using different knowledge sources communicating by means of common information field. A Blackboard is a global accessible database which is used for intermediate partial results of problem solving. Next, uh, we can see the architecture of Blackboard system and uh, how it works and how uh, they perform the task. This is the architecture of the Blackboard. 
A blackboard system can be uh, viewed as a group of sitting human specialists next to a large blackboard. They are working corporately. They are working corporately in order to solve the problem and they use the blackboard as a workplace for solution development. Problem solving begins with announcements of a problem and writing initial data onto the blackboard. The specialists are watching the blackboard looking for an opportunity in order to make contribution for solution development. When a specialist finds this opportunity, he records a contribution on the blackboard in hope that others will use this contribution for final problem solving. This process continues until the problem is solved. In this architecture, uh, there are uh, resources, controller, the blackboard, uh, etc. Uh, the blackboard is uh, the global dynamic database. Uh, here, the resources are uh, like uh, human agents, experts, uh, like that. Uh, the resources are provide the uh, problem uh, solving techniques, uh, their ideas, etc. The controller manages the uh, con connection between the resource and the blackboard. The blackboard is the main component of this system. Here, the uh, each resources are sharing, sharing or contributing their ideas or uh, solutions. And in the blackboard, uh, the all contents are uh, listed and uh, step by step uh, the problem will be solved uh, and the final result will be in the blackboard. Uh, it look like a normal uh, meeting or something like that. Uh, there are a blackboard, there is a blackboard and the humans are uh, near, to the, near to the blackboard and they contribute their views to the blackboard and finally we get a solution from that. Uh, next, we move on to the components of uh, Blackboard architecture. Uh, it contains mainly uh, three components, the knowledge source, Blackboard, and the control component. The knowledge source is a number of uh, knowledge sources which are separated and independent set of coded knowledge. Knowledge is in the form of procedure rules. Uh, the Blackboard uh, next one is blackboard a global data structure it contains problem state and information needed by knowledge source contains input data partial solution control data and final solution knowledge source makes changes to the blackboard incrementally lead to solution communication and inter communication and interaction between knowledge source take place through the blackboard next one is control information it contains uh, within the source or blackboard or a separate module. Monitor the changes in the blackboard and determine what the immediate focus of attention should be in solving the problem. Knowledge uh, sources are independent modules that contain the knowledge needed for problem solving. They don't need to know about the existence of the others, but they have to understand the state of problem solving process and the representation of relevant information on the blackboard. Uh, these are the components. Now we already discussed about the uh, working, uh, the architecture and the components. Next we look about the benefits of Blackboard architecture. There are many benefits. Uh, some of them are integration of knowledge source managed by the control system. Uh, next one is the modularity. Uh, it means each knowledge source is independent that makes development and maintenance easier. Next one, flexibility. The Blackboard architecture allows Blackboard applications to adapt to changing requirement much more flexibly than the traditional procedural software applications. Extensibility. New knowledge source can be developed and applied to the system, not changing the existing system and without having to specify its existence in any other knowledge source. Efficiency and quality. More than one knowledge source is able to perform the same function. Therefore, the control component can select the one which will provide the most benefit to the emerging solution. This can improve both problem solving efficiency and the quality of the eventual solution. Opportunistic 
cooperation. Cooperation in a blackboard system is explicitly opportunistic. Knowledge sources can post partial solution to the blackboard in hope that some other knowledge sources will be able to take this partial solution and find the final solution. Uh, software use the independence and modularity of knowledge sources uh, means that new application can easily be constructed using existing knowledge sources traditional procedural software investments can be preserved because they can be incorporated as knowledge source the blackboard itself is application independent and it is and is easily applied to new problem domains next uh, we can see uh, some of the applications of blackboard system uh, they are the sensory interpretation design and layout process control planning and scheduling uh, computer vision case based design knowledge based uh, simulations knowledge based instruction uh, command and control symbolic learning data fusion etc Mostly blackboard system is used uh, uh, in location, locomotion, uh, data interpretation and environmental changes monitoring problem solving. Some of the examples are uh, a blackboard system for interpreting agent messages, a mobile robot for corridor navigation, a distributed blackboard architecture for interactive data visualization, blackboard system for web application etc. Uh, now we learn the blackboard system uh, its architecture components uh, benefits and applications so we can conclude that the blackboard architecture can be successfully applied in problem solving in real world the blackboard architecture has a lot of benefits therefore it can be widely used blackboard architecture can offer centralized system and it is known that uh, system centralization means that the system will be robust without complicating systems uh, parts instead uh, simple parts will make up robust system cooperation between agents in multi agent system can be achieved by means of blackboard architecture they do not cooperate with each other they use a blackboard as central repository they put on it data and look forward the data on it in order to make a contribution the agent work Consistently, the blackboard is used as a central repository for all shared information. All the partial results made by agents are posted on the blackboard and are used by other agents till the final solution is found. We uh, discuss about the blackboard architecture and its parts, advantages, applications, etc. Uh, I think uh, everyone understands the concepts. Uh, so thank you for watching this video thank you guys